What's up, y'all? My name is Brian Ng, and I am a paleo artist. To me, being a paleo artist means summoning ancient creatures from the depths of time and using art to resurrect them in the modern age. Now, I'm excited to announce that I actually won what is the biggest prize for paleo art, the Lanzendorf Paleo Art Prize, which will be presented at this year's Society for Vertebrate Paleontology Conference in Albuquerque, New Mexico on October 20th. Now, I'm really excited because my Tylus or mural for Savage Ancient Seas, which you can see a video on, the process of creating, that's what won the prize. So I'm stoked about that. But I was talking to a few other paleo artists and we're all a little bit bummed that there's really only one big prize for paleo art. So if you don't win one year, you have to wait a whole another year to be recognized for your paleo art. So I decided, what the heck, I will invent my own paleo art competition. I'm calling it The Summoning 2018. And I'm summoning all of you to reanimate and re-illustrate and resurrect ancient creatures from the depths of time through art. So this is how this contest is going to work. During the month of October, artists can submit their art to me by emailing it to thesummoning2018 at gmail.com. Artists can submit up to three submissions per artist, so pick your best three pieces. And at the end of the month of October, I will be picking my favorite, single favorite piece from all the submissions and awarding that artist half of my Patreon earnings for the month of October. That means that the more people you tell about this contest and the more people you encourage to support my paleo art at patreon.com slash historian himself, the larger the cash prize will be for the winner at the end of that month. Now, the criteria I'm going to be judging these pieces on is as follows. First and foremost is creativity and originality. Unfortunately, there's a lot of paleo art that copies other paleo art or repeats tropes and little details and color schemes and things like that that have been done over and over again. And that's boring and considering how deep deep time is and how many new hypotheses there are to be illustrated, there is no reason for unoriginality. So originality and creativity is most important. Second to that, I like detail. I also like storyline and mood. These things make people want to come back to an illustration and look at it again and again. So if you have a lot of detail in your painting, it doesn't have to necessarily be photorealistic, but if you put enough detail into your scene that I want to look at it again and again, even if it's in a weird style, that's going to increase your likelihood of winning this contest. In addition to that, scientific plausibility is really important in paleo art. Naturally, when we're reconstructing prehistoric animals that have been dead for tens of thousands or millions or even hundreds of millions of years, we have to infer a lot of missing pieces from what we can tell from the fossil record, but also what we know about living animals and living environments. So I want to see reconstructions that incorporate these ideas from modern biology, anatomy, and ecology into your piece. So the way you submit, like I said, Email your paleo art to thesummoning2018 at gmail.com. Your art can be in any medium. It can be pencil on paper, it can be digital, it can be some mixture of paint and digital and pencil. It can even be sculptural or dioramas. Anything you want to submit, but it has to be created by one person and one person only. Obviously, this it, I have to have that rule in place because I can't award this prize to like a big budget movie that was worked on by a huge team of people. This is for individual artists to express their personal vision. Email it to the summoning 2018 at gmail.com, but also, and perhaps more importantly, post it to the group Facebook page I'm creating on Facebook for this contest and post it to Twitter, both with the hashtag the summoning 2018. This will create a lot of buzz around your art and around this paper art contest. And this is important because this contest is going to be happening during the time that the, that the Society for Vertebrate Paleontology is having their big conference in Albuquerque, New Mexico, which means your art could potentially be seen by paleontologists from all over the world. So we want to create a lot of buzz for the paleo art community and also hopefully get other people interested in the art that we are spending incredible amounts of time researching and creating. So I hope you guys will send me all kinds of unique new original paleo art and, and just make this a really hard decision for me because I want to see awesome stuff and come November 1st, I want to be pulling my hair out trying to figure out which piece is the most strikingly original, 
detailed, filled with story and life history and mood, and also scientifically plausible and informed by scientific ideas. Thank you guys for watching, and I can't wait to see your art. Bye-bye.